All that with his collar buttoned up. Uh, and if you have any voice left after that, we'd love to hear from you here at Telethon. Sadly, that's the end of our concert. Uh, we have a few moments before the film you voted for with the TV Times Reader's Choice starts, so put them to good use by calling us and pledging a few quid. You'll still have enough time to make yourself a cup of something wet and warm with which to enjoy the film coming up after the break. See you soon. Hello, telephone watchers. I want you to do something for me. I want you to take your right index finger, that's this one, viewers. I want you to make a slight downwards pressing motion with it until it makes contact with the little button on your telephone. Then I want you to say the following words. I pledge money. Got that? I pledge money. Good. Now, keep repeating that. I pledge money while you ring the number. It's as easy as that, and someone somewhere will have you to thank. Right, off you go then. Uh, my name is Phil Friend, um, I'm married, I've got four children and I've had a disability which means I use a wheelchair to get around. We cope very well but obviously we cope a lot better if the environment were much more friendly and if people's attitudes were different. I mean we make the best of it. I'm fortunate I've got a car. What about disabled people that haven't? As far as I'm concerned, being able to walk is not the issue. It's the environment that's the issue. And the reason the environment is still such a problem for so many disabled people is because so many non-disabled people responsible for the design of it haven't taken my needs into account. What I want is my rights respected. I have the same rights as everybody else. I'm, I should be enabled to visit cinemas, go shopping, do the things that everybody else does. And uh, my view of that is that until the non-disabled world understands that, then nothing much will change. Time flown. Yes, it stood still for you. I have grey hair. You're not grey at all, are you? That's because I look after myself. I discovered just for men. Simply apply, wait five minutes and rinse off. No grey, just natural looking colour. Your husband is so young looking. Just for men. Gets rid of the grey in just five minutes. If you like to shower a lot, the oils in your skin could be at risk. So it's only sensible to practice safer showering. Cotton's Aqua Spa is a milder shower gel that's less risky oil-wise. So it's okay to shower as nature intended. New Cotton's Aqua Spa. It won't strip, so you can. The Gilbert and Sullivan stamps are here. Your post office has a supply. Buy beautiful stamps from the Royal Mail. So buy them as soon as they go on sale on the 21st day of July. Yes, the 21st day of July. At any main post office, they also sell with fine presentation pack postcards as well. To get them directly, phone 0800 7422. Design your treasure, stamp your treasure. Give them a big I've been thinking, Jack. You know, the bloke's place isn't just at the pub enjoying a beer with his mates. No? No. You should go out into the world and find a good woman. Decent, strong woman who he can stand beside. Shoulder to shoulder. Killing the land. Sharing the trials and tribulations that life throws at them as two equal human beings, regardless of pubs and other distractions. Colin McLeod? Yep. Worst case of sunstroke I've ever seen. <laughs> Hello again. Here's a heartwarming little note. Whittam and Newland Girl Guy Genetics filled a toadstool with money and raised £430. I've heard of stuffed mushrooms, that's marvellous. Hope you're all sitting comfortably, as this is the moment you've all been voting and vating for. Thousands of you called the special number in TV Times to add your two pennies to the Reader's Choice film competition. Those of you who watched earlier on will know that the special movie tonight is Hercules in New York, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger as the Roman god. 
So sit back and enjoy Arnie like you've never seen him before in this madcap, muscle-bound movie of mayhem. Flower in the dim past. 